Alrighty, let's do this thing. Quiet on the set. Quiet on the set. You're listening to WRFB Radio Free Britannia. And no other friggin' better place in the world than Deltona, Florida. Here you are, two idiots who misinterpret the news so you don't have to. The dynamic duo themselves, Laz and Jack. everybody this is Laz and this is Jack welcome to another edition of lunch with Laz and Jack on this glorious hump day hump day yes hump day trying to get over the hump we're, we're, we're trying to hump today don't know who I'm going to try to hump do that today. every day, right? Do the, do the hump to hump. Yes, we're going to do the humpty to hump today. Well, welcome to today's show, boys and girls. It is Swagged Out Wednesday right here inside and outside Tragedy Avatar. And it is Wednesday, May 17th, 2023 here on NBNN. What's going on here? Do they even know they are on the air? Yes, we know we're on the air. We're on the air five days a week. We have no clue that we're on the air. No, no clue. That 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 button that said go live means nothing to us. Dr. DDT, welcome to the stream. Welcome to lunch with Laz and Jack, which happens here on NBNN News five days a week, except for those days where we're not here, which does happen from time to time. Uh, yes, we know we're on the air. Uh, we, we intentionally push those buttons, flip those switches, uh, do all those things, uh, show up here to inform you, entertain you, and uh, brighten your lunch lunch hour just a little bit every day we're, we're with just our hijinks and one. shenanigans. Yeah, we're, we're just here because we've got nothing better to do for the last nine plus years, but, you know, it is what it is. But uh, it is Wednesday. Uh, we've got some topics to talk about. Uh, we got a whole bunch of topics. Uh, no new updates. Do you, do you want to do the the usual? Uh, oh, like the the fact that there's nothing on Twitter. Nothing on the Twitterverse. Nothing on, Twitter. nothing on the 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 patch notes update. Uh, uh, nothing on the QA server. Nothing on the Ask a Dev. I mean, the the we're going to be more open with our communication and we're going to give you more of it. And don't forget, queued for review. Nothing new on queued for review either. Oh, yeah, yeah. See, yes. I don't have that one actually open all the time. That one I keep open just to see if anything new pops up. Yeah. Yeah. I, I keep one? it open just for shits and giggles I, because, you know, you never my, my know. My latest one. My latest one to to keep open all the time is the uh, when was Chris last seen on the forums? Oh well, I've got uh, our our newest friend or one of our new friends out on uh, the Twitterverse. Uh, let me let me pull this up here because we do have a little news from the Twitterverse. Where is he? 
Well, you you'll have to post a link. Yeah, I'm yeah, I will. From you today. No, because we still have plenty left over from yesterday. Yeah. But uh, hold on, he's right here. I know it's right here on my. And and don't forget, everybody, you do need to do exclamation mark I love free shit to get in the Steam key giveaway or and or actually not and or not or and and exclamation mark bundle me on both streams to get the streamer bundle. Cause uh yeah. We got those going on. But this uh comes from Ziggy the Avatar. Uh, 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 in the Twitterverse. Come on, open up, open up. Ziggy the Avatar. Otherwise known as at, Agent, Agent Z. Yes. Uh, and and you, you like Tyrion's tail today? Yes, I noticed that uh, he's just sitting there keeping you occupied. Although, not where's, not. where's is, Lily? Is Chris home? Huh? I don't want to say he's camping. Um, but yeah. At Shroud of Avatar, is Chris home? Where is Chris? No clue. And his his LinkedIn page says he started another new job as a CTO for a uh, stealth project. Stealth um, project. Yeah. Stealth project. Because we don't want anybody conversing yeah, about was... what what we might or might not be doing yeah would hate to be working for another nft program that just tanks <laughs> Thanks. i don't want to be money oriented but let me go work on an nft money oriented game yes i know yeah i know yeah. very contradictory that yes, uh, Ziggy the Avatar wants to know where's Chris, and uh, yeah, we don't know. We haven't seen him in a while. We haven't heard from him. Well, actually, I haven't seen anything from him on Facebook in a while either. So, so it sort of makes you wonder whether uh, he's even running the project anymore, or as as we've stated, the inmates are running the asylum for quite some time now, and uh, you know, from the looks of. Uh, the last several streams, uh, that just seems to be exactly what it is. So, is uh... yeah, it's just that. Yes. But we can't answer that question for you because we have no new information except for uh, what we've already shared with y'all. So, and that's nothing. Got nothing, honey. Yeah. Got nothing for you. Okay. W will it let me sign in to LinkedIn? Dave's not here, man. Dave's not here. Yeah. There is no Chris, only Zulu. Yeah. Zulu. Okay. Oh, so, Zool. So you, you okay. Tell, yeah. Sorry. You, Zool, you're right. You, you can tell that uh, um, Tyrion is having fun today, right? Uh, from he's what his, his see, tail see wagon and him moving around him. and yeah, all that good stuff. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, let's get to uh, some topics here. This one is quite interesting. And uh, I, I gotta gotta give Conjurer Dragon some props for this thought, but uh, I think he's uh, just a little too uh, overboard in his expectations around here. And uh, while, while 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 I give him credit for his ideas, uh, you know, yeah, I I don't I don't see why he would want to do some of this except for the role okay. play perspective. So let's get right into it. Hold hold on, I have to reset my zoom. 
because uh, Tyrion was helping me with this. Okay, so player vendor. And you may want to what refresh options... that uh, because I know there's been updates to it. So hit refresh okay. just to be on the What safe options side. do I have? I bought my first player vendor in the crown store sale, and it seems I had a very different view on what I could do with them. My idea was that over time I would put some NPCs on my lot and I would give them some text, orders to move, etc., which seems to be possible with conversationalists, but not the player vendor. I can only put that in one place, give it orders to buy or sell something, and decide if those orders go into the zender, zone vendor listing. No. But, well, all. yeah. Go in the I was going to say, for, for, first off, I don't think he really understands that you don't get any choice in any of that. Yeah. Uh, you yeah. place it, you put orders, buy or sell on it, and they go into the vendor zone listing whether you like it or not. There is no choice of whether they go in or you know not go in. Yeah. Look, look, look at Tyrion. He's such such a long kitty now. Yeah. I mean, run to the litter <laughs> with a long of tail. Runt of the litter. Um. Uh. As, As a role, role player, player yeah. can't I order my player vendor to take a stroll al along the lot border once in a while to move his feet, to go to sleep at night, to sit down for an hour with no orders or left to do or take care of his workspace and sweep the floor using the emote? No? Nope. 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 And nope. Yes. Nope. 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 Um, Aurelius is like, Apply a pattern to make them look like a cash register and use a conversationalist as the merchant. That way you can still use the merchant to buy and sell and have a suitable role-playing experience with the conversationalist taking and acting and acting like a merchant. What? Did you get the commercial free vendor? Yes. Um, and uh, scan for is like the applying the pattern is the best option to be honest and Pooh's like that is actually a very cool idea who will unfortunately use both npc slots we are allowed to eat on a row lot yeah and a conjurer dragon which which is why i need a sale that includes reduced upgrade costs for deeds what well apparently cool. he's that, on, that's like on a, a sale on kodos yeah, well, you know, is uh, there'll be one coming up soon enough. July Fourth is coming. You'll just have to wait another yeah. month or so, and uh, there'll be the Lord British sale coming up. So, wait for it. Chris, uh, I mean, Chris isn't there, and we know the inmates are in in are in charge of things. So. Yeah, well, we also know that there's always a Lord British sale, yeah. so. Unless, of course, you know, the, the um, Lord Lord Ravlox decides that that's not one of those uh, holidays that uh, we we celebrate anymore because they try and keep their celebrations with whatever the silly excuse he was with these celebrations that the, the celebrate the, the the fucked up shit that they made up last yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, we don't do Christmas, Easter, Thanksgiving, Fourth of July, New Year's. We do it <laughs> based on the yeah, uh, the, I mean, the, the the seasonal clock cockamamie yeah, excuse they gave last time. You know. th that's why the the Lord British fireworks sales were the uh, red, white, and blue ones. Yeah, Memorial Day sale. Yeah, yeah might might be one for Memorial yeah. Day before that. But uh, again, is uh, you know, yeah. we got somebody out there thinking a little bit differently these days, Stymie. So you know, it is and, what it is. Patch up patch up with the observation or the the i want one of those giant wavy arm blow up things one of those guys that sits there and i'll yeah. plop that right in front of my own home <laughs> all the time like look at me look at me yes um mr wiggly appearance, yes back to the the uh thing uh from an appearance point of view the solution looks good however even when i can 
program the conversations to go for a schedule, the player vendor turns to turn to a cash register will still be there and open for business 24 seven instead of the merchant closing the shop when going to bed. Unless the conversationalist has the ability to close down the cash register. Not Why? Even. Why? Exactly. You do understand this is a 24-hour game. I, I Yeah, but, you know, is yeah, you, you'll be missing sales from some of the most important parts of the world if your vendor is not available at certain well, times of the no. day. Laz, you remember that night in-game is 15 minutes long. Listen, uh, people people don't like waiting 30 yeah. seconds for shit or reading 10 seconds I'm worth aware. of text. You think they're going to come back in 15 minutes for your fucking merchant because you may have may or may not have something that <clears throat> they want? No. They they they're, they're just going to put up the, pull up this good old vendor listing and they're going to find out where it is the item that they want, and they're just going to move right the fuck on to where it is they want, and they ain't going to even bother with your vendor knowing that your vendor is closed mm -hmm. down half the time. So it sort of defeats it, the purpose of having the vendor in the first place. Well, I mean, doesn't shroud math defeat the, the, the purpose of most things in game? Well, that's well? another story. That's, that's, that's a topic right. for another it, show. It, <laughs> shroud math. Um, but yeah, but uh, I didn't know that you could program a conversationalist to walk around and you know do 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 different things. I mean, I know we can set them, and again, we've got our guy here, you know, who 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 who's yeah. set to. Uh, he he wants patrol. much more function, much more functionality than currently exists. Yeah, and the, the conversationalist can be. Yeah, I know you can't. Uh, that's the point, Tina. I know you can't. And the conversationalist can be programmed to do actions, uh, but you actually have to open their interface and converse with them in order for that to happen. Uh, so, you know, they don't just, like, randomly start sweeping. If you program a sweep emote, they don't randomly just walk to where you tell them to walk. Uh, they don't randomly uh, do what a town crier does and yeah. spout out. Uh, information and bark like yeah. other NPCs do. Uh, they don't do any of that without uh, being interacted with. Yes. So, yes, yeah. Um, but is there no recipe for that? Yeah, no. Not not exi existent. Um, Aurelius with the response. I think it's well, very I, I, I like his idea, though. Did you read that? Hey, hey. One 100 coal, one commission player, one conversationalist uses the smelting player to player to be just becomes a conversationalist commission free vendor. Yeah. Cut becomes, yeah. Yeah. <coughs> when in addition, burning Ravelox unused bed in, in a circle of black candles. Yeah, because everybody really loved that fucking thing. Yeah. The bed that nobody Amen. can fit in. Yes, I 100% I agree with you, Tina. They should at least be able to bark. Bark, 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 bark. Bark, bark. They, they should be able to do all kinds of things. I mean, it, I, it's I, one I, I wholeheartedly agree 100% on that. Absolutely. But as as you know, our, our dev team, even when it was fully staffed, uh, frequently took... Um, the shortest route possible for a solution instead of fully developing a system it was here's the proof of concept we'll get back to you later and flesh out this system completely and sort of like what we pointed out yesterday with the island pot's that when you place your cursor over it they they uh -huh. have an actionable use but they don't work any longer and they now say it's working as intended you mean something like that, well, that that's because they broke it. I mean, well, it's like, yeah. Well, yeah, that that's the, that's the easy fix. Working as intended, not, uh, well, it used to work, but it broke, and we decided not to fix it and be honest with everybody. Uh, they just yeah. say working as intended, because uh, if it was working as intended when you put your mouse over it and you get the action green mouse on it, that means that there was an action associated with it at one point that no longer works. Uh, so the excuse that you have to be standing on the heck 
Hex, uh, you know, as we pointed out also yesterday, is a bunch of malarkey as well. Hey, man. Shroud math. Shroud math. Yeah, they intended it. Yes, they intended it. It's not a bug. It's a feature. <laughs> Patch up. I love you. Mm -hmm. Not a bug. It's a feature. Not a gang. It's a club, man. It's a croc. Um, but then uh, if a... I think it's very unlikely there's enough of a market for a scheduled vendors outside of a minority of the role-playing world. And thus, it seems very unlikely designing and testing such a thing is is a <laughs> sensible option to work on. In any MMO, you have to work around where, what's there. Yet, you know what? Remember, um, all NPCs were actually supposed to have a schedule and a home and do things. They intended to make it a living world. Intended, but failed. Intended. That's why some NPCs had schedules and others didn't. The ones that didn't were placed in. Eh, we'll get back to it later. It's like, and then from there, they were supposed to fix stuff. But yeah. Um. In any MMO, you have to work around what's there. Uh, of course, asking for changes is good, but sometimes you need to compromise. Much as I prefer the almost infinite ver variety of reactions and events you can get in a tabletop RPG, when I play computer games, they are, they are and I think always will be, despite AI, far, far short of that. Um, tying a conversationalist to the goods on your vendor sounds like a programming nightmare. Different functionality of the two might work, perhaps, if you can make a schizophrenic in NPCs where the transaction of data on the server going to be through the conversationalist side of the NPC taking your money, buying from the vendor NPC, then returning the, the bot item to the purchaser. As tech stands, having one NPC that can both converse and buy sell is just not there and is surely way, way down the list of things that many people need. That's in your opinion. I need it all and I need it yeah. now. Oh, Tina. Tina with the best observation. Oh, ever. yes. Uh, yeah, I was waiting Just for this. Just remember, remember. Programming is like sex. One mistake, and you're supporting it for the rest of your life. Yes. I'm going to steal that and post <laughs> it everywhere. They accomplished schedules in March 1988 when Ultima 5 came out. Absolutely. Well, you know, the, the yeah. screwed up thing is that certain towns actually have a schedule of vendors. Other towns, not. Don't. Yeah. Yeah. It, because it, it was a half-assed proof, half -assed of, proof of concept was, here we go. Let's put these vendors on a schedule. And then they went, oh, well, that takes time. And when we make a new town... We don't want to take the time to actually incorporate a schedule, so we're just going to plop these NPCs down now and just say, forget about it. Forget about it. Yeah, too too many people were like, I can't wait 15 minutes for this NPC to show up. But, like, that's one where it's like, you know what? You make some people only show up at night. Kind of like you remember initially that, like, Min Liang Tan, when he was in the Tower of the Shattered Hour, I only showed up on a full moon at midnight. Yes. So that you had to actually wait two physical weeks for him to appear once. Or the uh, one quest where you got to be on the top of the mountain and wait for the sun to come all the way around yes. to cast a shadow. Yeah, that, that's one of the Cerulean yeah. eye or something like lens. Yeah. One of the lenses. And wait I, for it to cast it's said shadow. Yeah. It's frustrating, but at the same time, that makes your gameplay a little bit more diverse. Well, that's how they got to 40 hours of gameplay. Well, they make you wait two yeah. hours for it. Well, the, the entire love quest that has nothing to do with love yeah. whatsoever. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yes, and then... Anpu with the currently conversationalist can use ink script that has the ability to write very complex dialogue, but is rather simple to use. And we have access to 17 in-game specific variables like player's name. 
That is all they can currently do as of 517 2023 until they possibly have further in-game functions. That is now is a very good now is a very good time to get the basics down on ink script. That's what I've been doing until I currently got distracted by something. Something, yes. Um and, and I, I love the fact that it's like he he linked to ink without a link to the 17 variables that are game specific. Yeah. Or mentioning the fact that the dialogue size has to fit within a very specific number of characters. That is now, low. One Relative. of my biggest peskiest complaints about vendors on a, ske a schedule is Doris Jeanette. And you know why that is, right? I don't know what you're talking about with Doris Jeanette. She is the vendor in our Doris that likes to go for a walk and okay. is, is ne never located where she's supposed to be in her shop. She walks outside of her shop. She walks down the street. She stops and she does yoga. She goes into the bar next door. Yeah. She walks outside around back. She, she'll she'll start moving in the middle of you trying mm. to buy something from her. Oh, so the oh, only yeah. vendor in the whole fucking game that is useful multiple times throughout the game, in my opinion, uh, is the most annoying because the vendor is constantly on the move, which is the only vendor in the game that does this that I'm aware of. If anybody knows of another vendor that actually does something like Doris Jeanette does, uh, please enlighten me. But otherwise... Uh, she is a real royal pain in the arse. Yep. Great feature, a sentient NPC that hates her job. Yeah, that, that's, you know, that, yeah, that's, uh, yeah. And I, I really dig the fact that, you know, she can actually, you know, you know they, they've proved that you can get NPCs to do things other than just stand there and, you know, have the conversation. I mean, she literally stops at a certain time of the day and, and does yoga for fucking crying out loud with a couple other NPCs, which uh, the vendors in Sultan are bad, too. I haven't really run into that problem. Uh, I mean. There's yeah there they've got the schedule where some of them actually go upstairs or go to their houses to go to sleep but that's a regular schedule they don't wander on the regular like Doris Jeanette does yeah yeah hey, hey I mean it's like that would be cool if you could actually like program a schedule for your NPCs and had them do that kind of shit and then also change their dialogue based on what they're doing like. If you tried to buy something, it's like, hey, I'll be back in my store. I'm on my lunch break. Well, that that would be cool. You know, what, what are you bothering me for on my lunch break type thing? Uh, you know, like, uh, you know, some of the ones that do actually sleep, um, you know, you can actually yes. bother them while they're sleeping. But you also, I believe, yeah. get a, a, a hit for that. You get a virtue hit for bothering them while they're sleeping. Yeah. You used to. I don't know if they do it anymore. I, I mean, it's like shroud math. We, we have no idea if you don't. You don't know whether it still it. does or doesn't. Absolutely, yeah. Because right. shroud math is so accurate on everything, because no one can tell you it actually is a courageous event. Nobody. Uh, Tina, I'm sorry. Uh, Doctor DDT sounds like a really niche topic. Absolutely, it is. Um, and again, you know, why would you want your vendor to go to sleep when you have a 24? It's like, you know, why would you well, close a seven 11? You know what I'm saying? I mean, especially well, when you don't, actually, you, when you don't have to tend to it, it would, it would actually be kind of cool because if you actually programmed all vendors to have a basic day night cycle and then set a few of them to work overnight. So some shops are open 24 hours. Some some are only open during daylight hours and then turn around and do all kinds of things and also make that applicable to player vendors to where it's like, hey, you have to set the schedule for your player vendor. And. And you're just changing like the game, ver like dynamics up. Um, well, see what what I would wind up doing in a place like in a, in a 
play yeah. like that I mean, is yeah. if, yeah. if I you, if I had to choose between a day vendor and a night vendor, the day vendor would have normal prices and the night vendor would have extraordinarily higher prices because you absolutely oh, yeah. need the product now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> and then, then it's like, go ahead and implement that system to where, hey, you need your character needs to eat and he needs to sleep. Um, well, I'm also so that for we, that is, uh, you know, where your health I mean, and, and your yeah. stamina all rely on actually needing to eat and sleep for regular intervals. That that would be a nice yeah. plus in this game, uh, you know, where we would see that. But uh, before we move on to the next topic, exactly. which is also related to vendors, uh, it is that time exactly. of the day for us to pull some streamer bundles. It's the butt it's of the that hour. Time to send Stymie the Savage Furry. On live this oh, timey. Wow. The Savage Furry is getting a, a bundle from me. Bridge Trolls getting a bundle from me here today. Mm. Congratulations, Stymie yes. and Bridge Troll. Hope you get something useful. All I got was a rock. Yeah. All I got was an untradeable rock. Yes. Dun, 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 dun. But uh, I believe our next topic also comes from Conjurer Dragon, which is also related to vendors, which uh, I, I have to laugh about because, again, uh, th things that just make you g just laugh out loud in this game. Okay, okay. You, you ready for this? Tina O'Neill with the sub. What's oh, up, Tina? Is that the sub or is that the the uh, re the notification of it, the anniversary of it? You know, I I don't know what I mean. I know Lomir says it's an anniversary, but every time I see it yeah. like that, uh, and I double check my stats later on, it, it's actually a it sub. Will, so it, it will it will say in the chat if it's an anniversary or not. Uh, we haven't seen they it on our side for 27 months. Currently on an eight month, eight month streak. That's all. All we see is the notification. Yes, but Tina, what do you want to do, buddy? You you know the rules. It's a real sub. Yes. Are we gonna continue with the nudes? Are we gonna stop and roll some balls? Or are we gonna run some cars? Well, how about cars? Which means how about I some need cars? To... I need to load up the nitro. Did we do casual box. play or chat versus bots? What do you think? Chat versus bots because we 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 oh 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 damn it! Come on, fucking. We, we need some nitro. wins to uh, unlock this other stuff. Yeah. The desert cup or the paradise circuit. You're gonna to have to give me a minute, so so that way I can do do that. I, I need to do this one to get the star car. Did you, so, did you say so you could do do? Oh, uh, what, what do you need to do to get the star car? Uh, the uh, desert cup to get the star car. Got to win in the desert cup. I didn't win in this desert cup, or did I? Probably did. You just don't realize it. On someone else's stream. Yeah, possibly. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, almost done downloading. Oh, you didn't do that before the race street, before the stream. Whoa. Um, why we load this in advance of the stream, so in case there's an update, we don't got to sit here and dig it. Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> I have no clue. I was playing uh, Nitro. Yeah, so I am I. If it, like, I. I updated like three days or two or three days ago because like one of the streamers I was watching like their like connection just went down and so I updated two or three days ago just so that way I could collect more crap in this yeah. missing one of those hey you must watch a streamer for two hours to get a fucking rap is ridiculous well you know the fucked up thing is both you and I missed the blue car so we're never going to get the rainbow rap because I know. Yeah, so there's no sense in really worrying about getting the rest of them because you never, unless they give you a chance 
See, when it says it drops on that date, it should the drop should stay open for the duration. It shouldn't just end that one day. Uh, that that's the really sucky part. Yeah, I'm installing it right now. So if you launch the installer, that's what I'm waiting on right now. Fitzgerald says he's ready for bed. Any takers? Uh, well, considering I started working yeah, at Jack, Jack three wants o'clock a nap in the morning because he's getting up way too early these days. Yeah, three o'clock in the morning. I've already put in nine hours of work, and oh, excuse me. six of that was on. Six or seven of that was in meetings, including one that was like a uh, two-hour-long straight meeting. Well, it's like, yeah, of me just sitting there telling people what to do, which is no fun, and then monitoring things. Come on, install. Here, so that Wait way people it. can actually see, see what I'm doing. Installing, installing. It's like, why haven't y'all implemented a fucking auto updater yet? Because it's still in beta. Well, considering it's version 0.17. Yeah, well, you know, it was, uh, hey, Star, Star Citizen came out with uh, another update to the Alpha 3.19, I think it was. And uh, yeah, ap apparently they have PvP now, and uh, you can actually fly a ship uh, in space and out of space, uh, apparently, in this well, new you, update. You could already do that. Sorry, you, sorry, you, you, you can do that in Squadron, but can you do it in Star Citizen? That's the difference. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Squadron 42 is a different game from Star Citizen. Uh, I was I haven't downloaded uh, Squadron 42, but I I have flown, and uh, my one of my ships in star citizen and then i promptly like just logged off because the controls are all so fucked up <laughs> okay chat versus bots okay we are challenging i haven't won a single one of these and why isn't it oh wait it helps if i open nitro not okay why aren't you playing showing nitro there you are and i need to move my Glorious face down there. Dun, 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 dun. Two of you there. Okay, you, you ready for race one unlocked? Everybody needs to do exclamation mark play on my stream because better odds than Laz's stream. Uh, I don't know about that. Did I get in on your side? Yes, you did. Yeah, I don't know how that's okay. going to work. I can play hey, multiple races at once. Well, if you needed to win this one, uh, you got much better odds on my side. Yeah, we'll I got to be in top 5%. <laughs> Three, two. And remember, you can only play it on one side, not both. So one, start race. Who is my stream? My stream is... Uh, uh, my stream is Cynicist. Here we go. Because that's last. <clears throat> oh, luckily you're only in four. Yes, we have uh, two streams. Uh, that's why we called the network, because yeah. we have multiple streams. Amen. Here we go. No, no. Oh shit, I should have used my car that has all the automatic stuff, like the shields and vulnerability instead of this one. How do you get automatics? Well, like, if you're the streamer, it will automatically trigger some of, like, the speed boost and some of the other stuff. Oh, I didn't know like, that. If, if your car is, uh level three or four uh like level three you can get like sh level two is an an uh, an additional uh ooh, and someone just did something thank you dr ddt um 
level two is the uh, automatic attack, I believe. Um, like you can bananas punch someone or uh, something else. Whereas level three, you can have shields or a ghost mode. Or well, I, I know what you can get, but I didn't yeah. know you can get or, them automatic. Uh, speed boost. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it automatically uses it if you're the streamer. Well, I didn't know that. Yeah. It's amazing what happens. I, I, I have a lot of that stuff on this car, and I don't see it using any. Oh, yeah. See, like, I got auto shields on mine, but I still just got blown up. Hey, man, so, not my fault. So, so how my shields are actually uh, non-functional? And why I have these clouds constantly oh. following me? Hey, hey Lass, you won on my side. Yay! Maybe I get the star hey. car for that. Well, I was playing the desert uh, destruction one. Yeah, that's the one that had the star car. Okay. Okay. Could have told you that in the corner. But we had the bots finish first. Knight I, Rider second. Cynicis third. Bridge Troll fourth. Tina fifth. I was sixth. I and Lomir know. was ninth. Yeah. Yeah. I really need to do the Desert Cup. All of it. Because you've got two different tracks. The uh, Paradise Circuit or the uh, Desert Cup, and then you want to get all the way up to the five, and each time you level up, you... How many cars uh, do you have at level five? Oh, oh, you did get the Star Chaser. Um, how many cars? There is no level five. Sure there is. What? Hold yeah, on. Huh? Hold on. Let me go collect because I was on someone else's stream. Uh, edit. Uh, damn it! I get, I get. Well, I mean, you know how many cars I have at level four, right? Yeah. I, I just give, one, you, two, give, three, give you give you this real quick. Four, five cars at level four. I have not tried to level up a car to level five yet. And my pineapple car here has level five. Which is really weird why my other ones all say level one because I know I have uh, more than that. Let's see, body types. Uh, okay. Are, are we doing another race or are uh, we going back to the news? No, we're going to go level. back to the news. Okay, I have two at level five. Never mind. Oh, no. Uh, I, have, uh, I have the ducky car at level five. How do you get a car to level? Cause I have this red car and it's only at level two. You gotta go I'm into gonna, your. I'm... You gotta go into your garage and update them. Yeah, play play dot nitro dot com. And you use the gas that you get to update your or cars. Game game dot nitro dot com. Yeah. Game dot play nitro dot com. Let me see if oh, my rewards. Where do I get my rewards? Yes. Oh uh, yeah, Tina's like. Uh, I got in and then waited to see if there was gameplay I liked. When they re reneged on the gameplay promises, I have no desire to put any in, even if they stop fucking around. Oh, is it, uh, is it worth it, worth it to up, up, update the driver? Like, by these 10K guys? Or update the car. Update the I, car. Yeah, I updated the car. But is it worth it to, to pay 10K or higher to do a different driver? Right, well, if you want a different driver. If right, you do I mean, all the, like, the daily quests, when you do all the daily quests, you you end up with a maximum of like 100,000 tokens. And so you start hitting that, and so you just end up spending those tokens on random shit. Yeah, like here, I'll show you this here. Uh, um, here. When you go to update your car, you'll see. I'll drop this in the Zoom room. You'll see right under the car, it says level up, and it shows you how much gas and how much gold you need to level it up. And you click that little thing there, and you level up your car in the garage. And then you go into the, the, the powers. So, Laz, have you gone into the powers for your level five car? 
Yeah, I've got all sorts of crap for my cars. I got guided yeah. missiles and shields and extra this and extra that and extra stuff. But meanwhile, we got to do a giveaway real quick because uh, oh. that co that comes along with the sub. We're so closing the giveaway. giveaway. Oh, I picking a winner. Giveaway. And Lomir, Lomir, you are the wiener. Lomir, wiener of a steam key. Well, let's see what we've got for Lomir. Okay. Lomir, you're going to get yourself a copy of... Open the Easter egg. I'm going to get Dub Dash. Dub Dash. Sweet. Tell you what, I'll, I'll uh, donate that back to you guys. Okay. Okay. Well, then we'll put I, that. I have to. I have to go finish the, the like the daily honk quest. Yeah, I, I know you got to do that every day, which is a pain in I the know. butt. Well, yeah, but I uh, I need to finish the daily quest for some random shit. And uh, ooh, who? Uh, yes, I, I'm. Uh, nothing. I'm, I'm getting an order prepped and delivered for weird things. So uh, oh. well, let's get to the next yeah. topic, which is player I mean, vendor topic. behavior. Yes. Player because th behavior. Th this, this makes me laugh my ass off. Spoiler. Spoiler. Got a picture on there. Damn it. Eight of 10 hunks already. Yeah. I'm almost to my weekly fuel up too. Dun, dun, dun. Spoiler, here's a picture of buy items. Okay. A roll for 10 million and five slimos is for five, 50 million gold. This is so ridiculously overpriced that it could be seen as an exploit to prevent selling out of everything and having the vendor... According to their old rules, when the vendor was filled, sit down for not having anything to buy or sell. Well, the old rules were if you were AF, if you had not logged into the game and touched that lot for a few days, your vendor sat down. Two weeks. A few days. Um, it was 14 days. Yeah. I hope no one ever falls for such prices, thinking it's something special worth the amount, and then sees that rather common items are sold for outrageous prices. That bun has an in-game value of zero and five slimes of 50. Um, when vendors sat down, it was because they didn't have any new listings, not because they didn't have any listings at all. And it was after, as Laz said, two weeks. Yeah. And it was the person hadn't interacted with that vendor in a while. But, uh, so, yeah, you know, not working as intended, Allie. No, yeah, not, yeah, not working, working as, as that, intended, that working, working as intended. Players free, can set free capitalist own. pig market. No, I mean, I, I think there's an asshole on this lot that actually has an arrow for a million dollars, or you yep, think? yep, a single arrow for one million, that and magic another arrow, arrow for 500,000. 500, <laughs> yeah. It's like whatever. The free market people you can sell for whatever it is you feel like selling. Yeah. Yes. You can do all kinds of weird shit. But yeah, I mean that that one is a working as intended completely ignore it. Players are free to set their prices for whatever they want on anything. Otherwise, you'll complain about s people selling things for below base cost. It's like that's their prior prerogative. Dude, seriously, I honked more than one time. Fucking piece of shit. You only honk once every 30 seconds. You know better than that. I honked a lot. Well, again, every 30 seconds. So if the race is a minute long. I was going through the three, the three different honks. Yeah, it doesn't. Those don't work. You actually have to type "honk" in chat. I found, like clicking yeah. those hon clicking those honks doesn't doesn't work in your. Yeah, it does. Uh, not that I found. 
uh, considering I I do not uh, turn around and look at the, that streamer's page. Is because I I got frustrated with trying to click the honks and they uh, those yeah. and, and they just don't do anything. Yep. I'm gonna try them now. Let me see what my honk my honks are for right now. My honk should be zero. Yeah. Yeah, zero or five. So I'll find out well, after this that, race. That, that's so. Yeah, I mean, considering I didn't do those honks uh, in chat. Yes. Uh, da, 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 da. It says he, you put those into the spreadsheet when you're doing the vendor <laughs> survey. So you've come across that vendor before. Yep. All right. Anyway, moving right along, we got time for uh, probably one more topic. Let's see what we want to talk about here, real quick. Uh, let's take a look at these other topics. Uh, doors, doors, doors. Resource nodes. You want to talk about the doors? The doors, man. Yeah, let's talk about let's those two. Uh, let's let's <clears> talk <throat> about gonna... those two topics. Maybe we can get those both in. So we're gonna break on through to the other side. Break on through. Or are we riders riders on a storm? Now uh, break on through. Okay, we're breaking on through because NGA Varda wants to uh, have a wish list for. I could have had more doors, not just flipping open by sliding upwards and sideways once, especially when those switching scenes that don't animate. And then he, like, includes an animation of a door opening and closing in Resident Evil doors. Dun, dun, dun. All the different door animations, different door types in Resident Evil. That's a lot of different doors, man. Two hundred and sixty seven different doors in uh, Resident Evil. Yeah, the question is, can you just program them yourself though? Well, I mean it could be some something simple there. Claim Honkathon. Yay. Okay, finish in the top 50% of racers, 9 out of 10, and finish in the top 20%, 2 out of 5. Come on, guys. I can do this. Um, and uh, Majoria with the off-topic post. Um, and Coeur with the off-topic post. And Pooh. Uh, sorry, Coeur Uh Oh, I don't have Ampu. Anpu with the where do, where do you see Anpu? The Obsidian Trial. Should have been right after the doors. Uh, I do not see that post, and I just refreshed the page. It was an old. I do not see a comment from Anpu. Not a comment. New topic. Oh, new topic. Okay. The Obsidian Trial scene information window isn't listing the traitor. Hoo hoo. Oh. Hoo hoo. The Obsidian Trial merchant is not actually set up as a merchant. The transactions are done through dialogue. This may not be manually settable. Like Ali said, I don't think we can force him to show up as a merchant because he's a conversational traitor and not a merchant. Who opens up a trade window? However, I'll add a Jira and see if there's something I can do. So technically, the tech that we were talking about in the very first topic is actually in the game, in use, in the Obsidian Trials. Is that what Sanyo just told us there? Is that the merchant's not an actual merchant? He's a conversation trader. <laughs> Well, a conversation trader is essentially any of the, the people that accept quest items. Right, but this guy gives you stuff, you know, that you can trade in things for coins with this guy, right? So, yeah. you know. So basically, he's a merchant, as far as I'm concerned. Yeah. It's not, not just one yeah, thing that you can do. 
Yeah. He trades items. He trades goods for services. Yeah. So he's but a merchant. You know what? He, he's he, he's he's a trader, man. He trades side. He's a trader. He's a what? trades item. He's he's, uh, a... he's he's a porn star, dude. <laughs> okay. I guess I can click OK on that window, and he's I can click OK on this window, and then I can definitely close that. What's new in Firefox? What's new in Firefox? What's new in Firefox? Really? Because that's the number of times that I've actually like done updates and just restarted without closing those tabs. <laughs> oh, that's man. funny. But at least three of them. Yeah, absolutely. And I really don't need Max Toolbox up anymore. All right, we're going to remind everybody, make sure you are rappled up. Make sure you're bundled up because we're oh. getting to be about that point where it's oh, time for us to... It's coming. Come, it's time to pull those out final out giveaways of the day and give them yeah. out to some um, of our lucky viewers out there. Yeah, so um, I'm going to go back to the doors. Okay. That is simple artwork that can be uh, acquired... But can we just change uh, the doors out on our houses, which is what I think the actual it, request is for? You, you know what? And otherwise, I'd be putting Star Trek type doors in all my doors that you just walk up to them and they just open I mean, and, you know, and close. Damn it. Damn my ability to block cookies. Uh, you blocked uh, all cookies. Uh, 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 Chocolate. He he oh, he, third he party blocks cookies. them all. Yeah, he blocks them all. Third, third third party cookies. And then he wonders why he has problems accessing websites. Hey man, free <laughs> porn for me. I mean, you, you've got like easy doors, which is free. You've got right. That, that that's great for programming them in, but again. You might be able to add them in like the dungeon environment, but your static housing, you can't just hey, change man. the doors in your static housing is what I'm S talking simple, about. Simple door pack. Yeah, si simple, simple variables, you mean? Hey, man, it, door pack. It's like you get to pick and choose a door. I mean, it's like replace door with this. Th but the thing for houses becomes problematic because... Uh, of shroud math and the fact that th that's an asset that's baked into the game. It's not All something baked that's in. Good. Yeah, but hey, you you could do these things and actually set that up as a de definable parameter by a uh, player. And but by default, it has one door type, and then allow player to choose a different one later on. Interesting. Could be done. Interesting. But shroud math. Shroud math is the death of everything. Yes, uh, exactly, Stymie. Mean, that's my point. They're baked in, so there's really not much yeah. you can do because, you know, we can't build our own. But let's get mm -hmm. around to starting to pull those giveaways. Let's go ahead and start oh, with our man. streamer bundles. Streamer bundle? Well, Tina is going to be getting the streamer bundle on my side. Bridge Troll going for two on my side. Congratulations, Bridge Troll. Ooh. Bridge Troll's taking them both on today's show on my side. Oh, man. Now, if, now if my streamer bundle bag will Tina, just open up. There and, it is. T Tina has not logged back into Tina, the Tina character, so he's on his alt. Or last was on his alt again. There you go. Oops. Let's go ahead and give away a Steam key and picking a wiener. And Jigoku is going to be getting a copy of Turok 2 Seeds of Evil. Well, whoever our winner is, they're going to get the dub dash that Lomir went ahead and passed up on. So. Our winner is going to be, let's find out, close the giveaway, pick ourselves a wiener, and Zanin, Zanin, you are going to get yourself a copy of Dub Dash, 
on Steam going out to you, so congratulations. And of course, got to say thank you to everybody for joining us today. We do appreciate you all. And of course, uh, welcome Dr. DDT, our newest follower on both streams. Thank you, Tina, yeah. for the sub today. We do appreciate it. And of course, all the rest of you for joining us here each and every day, keeping us Busy bringing you the latest news and information from inside Shadow the Avatar. And, of course, we'll be back with more tomorrow right here on NBNN. Until they, till then, I'm Laz. I'm Jack. And we are NBNN. Have a great day, everybody. We'll see you all tomorrow. Bye-bye. It's nap time.